Kids and Faith, episode number four. We are so glad that you joined us today for Kids and Faith. We have been talking about this whole month, we've been talking about how that we can be best to obey God, to serve God through knowing that we are a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in what? A body. A body. So if you have not watched or listened to the last episodes, you've got to go back and watch those and listen to them because we teach all about number one, <laughs> you silly gooses. We teach about the body, first of all. And what, what does our body have? It has faith. <laughs> your body does not have faith. What, oh, what does your body yeah. have? The boss. F-E-E-L. Feelings. Oh, feelings. The body has feelings. Feelings try to be the what? Boss. The boss. Your body tries to be the what? The boss. And we know this because the first thing that happens when you wake up in the morning is you want to go back to bed. <laughs> or you get up and you want to just go wild. Maybe you wake up and you are That's full of I energy. Do. I know that is that is what you do. Uh, but That's the body I has feelings. What about it feels hungry? It feels it can feel angry, it can feel tired, it can, feel, it can have all these feelings that come to it, things that it wants to do. I just have to have candy, I just have to do this, I have to do that. The body will push you, say it'll push you. Push you. You don't wanna let that body push you. And so we have to, let's go back to our scripture uh, in Romans, do you remember Romans what? 12.1. Romans 12.1. So if you wanna get out your Bible and look at Romans, 12 verse 1. It says, I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, and I beg of you. He's saying, I beg of you in the view of all the mercies of God. That means this is very, very important. This is very serious, isn't it? Because many people, listen, Paul said, I keep my body, say my body, my body. under, under. Means he keeps his body under control. Think, okay, I've got an idea. Think about this. We have a dog named Prudy, don't we? We actually have three dogs. How many dogs do you have? We have three dogs. Do we want more dogs? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Is daddy gonna let us have more oh, dogs? No. We want one for Christmas. Okay, so we have three dogs. Now, Prudy, we get to take Prudy with us to a lot of places. What She's kind of? Right now. She is. Prudy is what? What kind of dog is she? She's poodle. a poodle. She's a poodle. When we put Prudy on the leash, is Prudy in charge or are we in charge? We're in charge. We keep Prudy under, meaning she is not going to run off. She's not going to go do it. She wants, we tell Prudy what to do. Do you have a dog? Do you put your dog maybe in a kennel? Maybe you put your dog on a leash. This is the example that I know of that reminds me that when I am handling my dog, I need to handle my body. Now, I'm not calling my body a dog, but I am saying... <laughs> I listen, I am saying this that my body has to be in control of me. Who is in charge of our dogs? Us. 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 Who needs to be in charge of our bodies? Us. us. The real us. What are we really? What are we really? A, A spirit. spirit. And we have this soul, soul and we live in this body. body. We have to be in charge of our body. You have to keep that body under control. Paul said, I keep my body under or else I cannot be, listen, I cannot be used by God. Do you want to be used by God? You should. One day we're going to stand before God and we have to show him the things that we did for him. So we need to today, we're going to, we're actually going to continue. I said that we were going to talk about the mind, but I still think we need to talk about our body and keeping our body under. So we have our dog and we tell our dog to what? No. Sit, our dog to go, our dog to lay down, our dog where to lay. Stop. Stop. You can do this with your body. 
Your spirit should be in charge of your life, not the body be the boss. boss. I'm the boss, me, the real me. Remember what we talked about? What, what's it? Come sit up here. Remember what is in your spirit? Is it, uh, is it darkness? No. no. It's what? Light. light. It's light. It's the life of God. The life of God is in you and it wants to come out of you. God's life is not in your body. You have to take the light that's in your spirit and do something with your body. So we cannot let our bodies be the boss, but our spirit man is the boss. Now, remember we talked about that when we get born again, who comes to live in our heart? Jesus. Jesus is in our heart. Jesus is in your heart. Did you receive him as your savior? Did you say, Jesus, come into my heart? I look to you, Jesus. I know that you died on the cross for my sin. I know you took all that sin away. God, you're my father. And I thank you for saving me right now. You become born again. You become brand new. But remember what we said, like these shoes are brand new, but look at that spot. Are we supposed to have spots on our brand new shoes? No, no. I have a spot on my brand new shoe. And you know something? You get become brand new when you get born again, but you have no spots. There's no darkness. There's no darkness. There's only light. There's only love. There's only goodness. There's only kindness in your spirit. So, so that means that as we go about our day, should we let the darkness around us tell us what to do? Or should we let the light in our spirit tell us what to do? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So we need to take our bodies and do something with our bodies, don't we? Yeah. So it says, I beg of you, please. So I'm telling you, learn that you are a spirit. You have a mind and you live in this body. Remember we talked about the car that gets parked in the garage, right? It's just to protect the car. This body is just to keep your spirit on this earth. It is not in charge. You don't want wheels without a roof. You what? Yeah, you just you you don't want it parked in the driveway, do you? No. Huh? You want to put it in the garage? You want to protect it? Yeah, you want to protect it. So look, all our body is to do. God gave us a body, but we're to be in charge of it. It's just to keep us here so we can do God's work, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So it says keep all the members, and you know what? It's worship. Now, how do we worship in church? How do we worship in church? We lift our hands, we worship God, we close our we close our eyes and we worship, we follow along with who's singing or who's leading the worship or we just simply say thank you Jesus, we worship you, we praise you, we honor you. Listen, look at me. Did you know that when you do the right thing with your body, it's the same as lifting your hands and worshiping God? What we let our bodies do what we allow our bodies to do is either worship or dishonor. So your body, it can be worship unto God. You can, just like you do in church, you lift your hands. Remember, if we don't do the right things with our bodies, do you think that's worship to God? Do you think he's worshiped by that? No, no. he's not. So we want to worship God. But today, how about we do this? How about we pray for all the kids that are watching. Can we do that? Can we pray for the kids that are watching? Mm -hmm. Let's just live, reach out our hands. If today, maybe you have a uh, sickness, maybe there's something trying to get on your body, but you know this, that healing is inside of you. Isn't healing inside of them? Mm -hmm. If they have Jesus, healing is in their heart. So we want to agree with you that the healing power that's in you, the glory that's in you right now is going to start flowing out of you into your heart body. That sickness cannot stay on your body. Say, I'm in charge, I'm in charge. Of, my body. of my body. You're in charge, You're in charge. Of, your body. of your body. Healing is flowing right now. Father, we thank you that healing power is flowing right now into every one of their bodies. And Father, we call these kids that have watched 
all these episodes, we call them blessed in Jesus' name. We call you blessed. Every part of your body, we say you're kept by the power of God. We plead the blood of Jesus over you and the angels are watching over you. You are strong in the Lord and the power of his might. You're strengthened by the spirit of God with might in your inner man. You are smart, you're courageous, you're bold, and we know that you are doing all the right things as you go and you live for Jesus. So kids in faith, we love you and we want to give you a testimony. There's a testimony that came in all the way again from New York. This time it's from a kid named Joshua. And Joshua is a big Buffalo Bills fan. And you know what? Joshua had a desire of his heart and that was to meet the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. Did you know God cares about all the things you care about? They mean something to him. Remember we talked about God is always needing to be on our mind, but we are always on his mind. Are you always on God's mind? Mm -hmm. Is God always thinking about you? God is always thinking about you. And you know what? God was thinking about Joshua and Joshua came all the way out here to California and he went to Disneyland. He had wanted money for Disneyland. They came out here with their family. He came with his family. What is Joshua? Is he 12 or 13? He's 12. Joshua's 12 and he really wanted to meet the quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. What do you, what do we say? Let's when, go Buffalo. Let's go Buffalo. Let's go. Buffalo. He wanted to meet the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills and he came all the way out here to Disneyland and they met all the way in California. They met the quarterback. He got to meet the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. God, that was a desire of his heart. And you know what? Joshua is a kid in faith. You're a kid in faith. So let's tell him. Say, remember, you are a kid in faith. We're, can I be a kid in faith? Yes. (laughs) Can I just be a kid? No. Okay. But I'm an adult in faith, right? Yes. Yes. How about we all be kids in faith? Uh, So remember, you are a kid in faith too. And I think we have a joke, don't we? Why did the woman go outside with her purse open? Because she expected some change in the weather.